Hello and welcome to my tutorial Masters of the Sea. Um, for those who don't know me, I will introduce myself. Um, I have been doing uh, VFX for over 15 years, I believe now. Um, I worked on uh, numerous films uh, um, like, um, I don't know, uh, I worked on Godzilla, X-Men, um, Aquaman, most recently, um, Ghost in the Shell, uh, Expandable series, uh, Hercules, um, and uh, quite many uh, B-movies for Sci-Fi Channel. Um, which um, of all you can see on my IMBD page um, I think over 20 25 titles um, uh, currently working as a uh, all, all previously uh, all of these movies were uh, uh, made um, as uh, me working as a, a Houdini and Maya FXTD and uh, then lately I've been um, doing a lot of lead positions at MPC and, and uh, today I'm a CG supervisor uh, role uh, again at MPC Montreal. Um, um, what I want to uh, show you now is that um, around nine months ago I uh, did the, uh, my first Houdini training which was called Studio Oriented Houdini training um, some of you might remember that was uh, an entire course that was uh, um, taking an empty Houdini canvas from zero uh, all the way to the final images that you see here and this tutorial was very well received I had a very well a very good uh, feedback the, the way I was explaining how things were done etc and, and I wasn't aiming to uh, create the most photorealistic effects as I was making this tutorial, but rather I was trying to walk you guys um, from A to Z how I approach doing my work. Um, and because the, the, the feedback was so well, I decided that I want to do another one. Um, keeping the same tradition, like as if we are creating a, a shot for a movie or a, a trailer or whatever, and um, which makes it more visually interesting, of course, uh, and touching quite a while, touching quite many different aspects of Houdini that uh, doesn't just teach you how to make an explosion, or but also teaches you how to handle uh, tasks, how to do uh, prepare renders for compositing, um, how to save disk space, how to proceduralize things, etc. So, um, with that idea came um, another uh, tutorial, which uh, I said, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing, and um, but this time I'm going to uh, focus on flip simulations, and, and now with Houdini 17 coming with Vellum, so I'm gonna have some Vellum. We will again use a, a small amount of uh, uh, FEM, um, we will create uh, uh, custom uh, form solvers, etc. Um, where is that video? Because I um, I just want to show that before we uh, kick off the initial tutorial. Um, this tutorial will be probably again more than 10 hours. Uh, for those who want to... Uh, uh, take that from scratch for those who wants to uh, have a look at my first tutorial that is uh, that covers a lot of uh, parts of Houdini again you might just uh, google uh, Gumroad VFX studio oriented and I think yeah, the first option will get it is page where you can um, go through this information um, maybe uh, go through these links that I have videos on YouTube there's a sample video uh, there's a promotion video that you can read the reviews and, and decide for yourself um, if this is a good option or not for you as well uh, I highly suggest going through this tutorial uh, very patiently uh, it, it, it's it's very um, helpful apparently um, so let me just go back to my current tutorial 
comp. Yep. Okay, so what are we gonna do? So in this tutorial, let's watch this first. We will create a terrain. Within this terrain, we will create a boat animation, which I have the asset for something I built over the years that um, oh, this might be quite loud. Sorry about that. I think I can start it again. I don't know if the voice was recording. Let me check. And um, all right, so where were we? I'm sorry, we were watching the video. Masters of the Sea. Well, not this poor fella, but um, so we will create a terrain. We'll create a, a, a procedural ocean using the shelf tools, and then we're going to tweak them. And we will, on top of that, create a, a dynamic patch with the secondaries. We will crush them into the rocks and uh, we'll create this terrain asset and the shading of it we will create um look we're not gonna create i will give you this boat which i have uh built in the past uh the textures i made though um so the ultimate goal is basically to create this shot using Adini. okay um and we will initially start by creating an environment. So uh, in order to do that, I'm going to launch Houdini. Right. And I'm going to go create file new because I'm going to start from scratch. So I'm going to create a new project under Houdini projects. I'm going to call it masters of the C recording session all right that's fine except okay so this should have created i believe let's just double check not yet okay i think it would have home oh it created all the way down okay well it doesn't matter where am i so it would be in Created here. Well, yeah, I don't want this here. Sorry, I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna create it in the proper place. I want it under because I already have one. Leaning projects. So I want it here. And I'm gonna name it Masters of the Sea. Recording. Except. All right, so a few things, um, Windows or Linux, you will need to prepare your uh, system for this. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous tutorial, I have my own way of working, which is not necessary to use to complete this tutorial, but it helps me in certain ways. So you will have your Houdini 17 folder or 16.5, uh, in any, any Houdini version pretty much. There's a Houdini 17 folder under your username and there you will find an Houdini environment file. And in this location, I have my disk variables because I have a few different hard disks and this is how I usually um, keep my cache information. So instead of saying like when you say dollar f you get a, a frame number and if i say dollar cache i will get this path automatically so all my caches go there and then i have another cache for which is a bit faster and then i have a super fast cache which is for caching scratch risks etc so um you can open your houdini.env file so if you have specific locations to create this 
uh, caches that comes very handy for me. It works very well for me. I have uh, this way. I have my uh, fastest disk that is running within the program itself. Doesn't get filled up by cache files, etc. It keeps it all um, comfortably uh, in a comfortable uh, place. All right. So once you have that, you open up Houdini and before we start any building process just to avoid this, the uh, because we, we will eventually try to create the exact same thing and from there in your second iteration you can go free to do whatever you want so um, that's why I'm going to just first of all copy because on the on my other monitor I have my uh, scene that I cleaned up to re follow up so on my other scene, I'm going to copy um, my cameras and my environment light, okay? And um, I will pass on these files to you guys. But these, these are not crucial. This is just for, uh, this is just an environment light and a, a distant light that I don't even think I'm using that, the sunlight anyway. Um, all right, so now let's save this as our first file which we will name 01 masters intro and we will continue from this file in the next video